What's good Raider Nation? Today I want to talk about Nicholas Morrow. Now if you guys go to Raiders.com, one of the first articles you guys will see is Nicholas Morrow impresses the Oakland Raiders staff. The main reason I want to talk about Morrow is because a lot of people don't really understand his role within the Raiders linebacking group. There are two types of linebackers. You, know, you have the run stuffers and you have your coverage linebackers. Now Morrow falls within that coverage linebacking group. Last year, Nicholas Morrow lined up 72 times in the slot, and that was mainly to cover tight ends. And he did a pretty good job. Pro Football Focus had him ranked as the sixth best linebacker as far as catches allowed. If you guys watch Morrow, you should know. I mean, if you're a true fan, you would know that Morrow is the guy that's going to come in to cover linebackers. You know, he weighed 216 pounds coming into the season, so he's clearly smaller than the average linebacker. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not a knock on Nicholas Morrow. In fact, he impresses me just watching his film as far as in the coverage game. You know, he's all over the field as far as covering tight ends. Sometimes he'll cover slower wide receivers. He'll line up out on running backs out there, and he's not that bad as far as in the run game you know if you watch him and keep in mind he isn't a 34 inside linebacker that is so out of position for nicholas morrow but he was still pretty successful at it last year you know keeping in mind that paul gunther will be running a 4-3 i believe that nicholas morrow is going to be a fantastic 4-3 weak side linebacker now what is the difference between a weak side linebacker, a strong side linebacker, a middle linebacker? Well, in a 4-3, all three linebackers have different job responsibilities. And why I believe Nicholas Morrow will be very, very good in the 4-3 at a weak side linebacker is because he's fast. He can cover. He's not bad at tackling or hitting. So he's definitely able to uh, succeed in that position. And the main reason that I think is going to really, really help him out is if you guys remember last year in the preseason, Morrow came into the Oakland Raiders and he tried out as a safety. He was not brought in to play linebacker, he was brought in to play safety. In fact, he was even wearing number 35 throughout all of the preseason last year, only until after he made the team that he get number 50 and he permanently switched to that linebacking position. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to click the article in the link to my Patreon account. It's an article that I wrote myself explaining kind of the role and the difference between the 34 inside linebacker and the 43 inside or weak side linebacker. Um, it's a cool little article I wrote. Uh, I wrote one on Carl Joseph as well. It's also on there. You guys can find that there as well. Now, you guys don't have to pay to see these. I know some people, you know, will require you to pay to see their content on Patreon. I just use it because it's a great platform for me to write articles and share with you guys and my thoughts and my opinions. You know, I can't always be making videos. Sometimes these videos take hours to produce but an article i can write you know 30 to 45 minutes even less than that you know sometimes i can write an article in 10 minutes um just go check that article out i pinned it in the comments below um and and with that i also want you guys to tell me what you guys think about the article as well as just nicholas morrow in general so let's let's make this video um a topic about nicholas morrow i want to know what you guys think i mean do you guys think that he can be our starting weak side linebacker or whatever other type of linebacker do you guys think he should be on our team or do you guys think the raiders should get rid of him and start someone else or pick up somebody else i'll be flat out honest i don't think the oakland raiders are going to re-sign navarro bowman which kind of sucks and it hurts me just saying that but it's probably the truth you know bowman played 3-4 and he was a great 3-4 inside linebacker 4-3 uh, middle linebacker might be a little bit different for him i don't see bowman having that speed to play that position but that's just my opinion again let me know what you guys think please like share and comment and i'll see you guys next time with the game film breakdown